Hello and welcome to Derek's TextMate Tip of the Day. Today we'll be going over some additional um, basic Ruby functionality. Um, the first one that we have is um, if we were to say output some string, say foo, um, and we wanted to see how this executed, we could do a command R and the file that we're in would execute, the output would come to our TextMate output window. So we can see here, it did indeed print foo. If we wanted to say, oh no, we really needed a symbol, not a string there, um, you can do a control colon to toggle between a string and a symbol. As you can see, we're toggling between a string and a symbol. And of course, if we save that and ran it, we would still get foo. Um, this next one is one that I think is a, a really powerful um, uh, tool of the editor, and that is the ability to basically get documentation in line in the format of RDoc. So say we were to output um, time.now, and we were to run it, and we thought, oh, well, you know, this isn't really the format I wanted. It's pretty ugly. You know, I'm pretty sure there's a, a stir f time out there. But uh, is it the capital percent Y or the lower percent that is the full year? I'm not quite sure. If you were to highlight that and you were to do a control H, it'll actually pull up RDoc, look for all the stir f times in RDoc. We can see that there's one here for time. We hit the number three. It'll actually pull us up the documentation for stir f time. And we can then see why indeed it is an uppercase Y that gives us the century. Hey, in fact, this is the format I'm looking for right here. I'm actually just going to go ahead and cut and paste um, this right into. And I'm going to run that. And now I've got a nicely formatted date. There you have it. Documentation within TextMate. Control-H. Use it. This is some Ruby tips in TextMate.